Welcome back guys to another episode of Ethan Neela. Today we realized we haven't been outside the house in about 20 days and you know we wanted to take the show on the road and have a couple of goofs outdoors but it's not really fair that Eva's always the one recording so I thought you know we got we got to capture her on camera you know so we we've, we've got this new hair set up a little technologically advanced okay I think it looks good it matches my style my outfit makes my hair you know on fleek and I'm feeling good and I'm looking probably if I don't say so myself even greater so we've got e Ethan POV cam for Ela's beautiful face and of course we've got Ela on deck with her usual camera style so let me just tuck in and suit up and I'd say we're ready to <laughs> I'd say we're about ready to roll what do you think Ela? I think this split on your hair here in the middle is perfect you think that's a good look for me yeah Let's have a look, Ethan POV style. Okay, so, <clears throat> yeah, the hair the hair fluff is nice because you can't get that. That's not a naturally occurring phenomenon. And so I'm able to puff out and poodle up. <laughs> and that's kind of what being, you know, looking good is all about. Let's get it started, guys. Yeah, I rode that fucking escalator backwards. That was so, that was extreme, dude. <laughs> I'm glad I have my GoPro on to capture such extreme moments. <laughs> Times Square is like uh, YouTube with ad block turned off. <laughs> that's, that's, exactly. how, that's how I feel about Times Square. Oh my Square. god, that's really what it is. It's like, can, it I is. can I please get an ad block IRL? <laughs> this shit is insane. It's insane what they managed to do in Times Square because it's like, it's a place where people come just to see ads. That's the whole point. They come just to see ads. Look at this shit. Check this out. Getting swarmed by the fucking yeah. the Times Square mascots. I wouldn't mind. I'd take a pic with them if I had a dollar, but I can't really afford to be hanging out with Times Square mascots right now. It's not really in our production budget. When you got money, you give them money and they give you shoes. That's how business works. Oh my god. I don't like your job. I like being behind the camera.
way too big. This is fucking grandpa's pajamas size. <laughs> what size is this? It's grandpa's pajamas? Okay, perfect. That's the size I need. This seems right. Is this the right size? Yeah, your stomach seems comfortable. It's snug. It's happy. No, but seriously. Maybe a little small. Just a little. Maybe one size is too small. Fucking extreme shots, dude, with the GoPro. This shit is extreme as fuck, dude. Check this shit out. So, Cat's Deli is a world famous deli. So it's known for its pastrami. And I mean, you can get a look at the, I feel like they've got a nice looking menu, but I feel like you're a fool if you come here and don't eat the pastrami. So we're gonna do it right here on the first try and uh, see if I can shave off a couple of years of my life, just like they shave off that pastrami. Oh, I think I got it. Ela, you're American it. now. You, you got ketchup out of a glass got bottle. It. Got I, him. I think it's my first time. Ela's officially American, guys. Give it up. Oh God. That's what a that's what a heart looks like on the verge of dying. It's a slice of heart attack, literal heart attack. It tastes like hot dog. <laughs> it tastes like a hot dog. Really? I'm not really a meat person. I don't really like meat that much. Is that a problem? <laughs> Is this not the right meal for you, being a meat person? I mean, I guess I could see the problem. <laughs> I wanted to try it. It's like really famous. All right, I got some work to do here, guys. See you, see you in 10 pounds. See you 10 pounds later, guys. There's the sandwich. <laughs> the fucking graveyard. Here's Gila's version of the cat's jelly. I think this sandwich. is okay. I could eat that. I'd come here for this. I'd like to see that on a billboard. Come to cats. <laughs> Our amazing pastrami sandwiches. <laughs> How much was it? Fifty-five dollars. <laughs> How much were the sandwiches, dude? Twenty bucks. 